Mass is being offered for the intentions of all of our people, the Pro Popolo Mass, and the repose of the soul of Dennis G Gonzalez Gomez. Gomez. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we first ask for God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. On earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth be honored. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joy of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my 
my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. For you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. 
Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Who enters, whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Today's readings are a call to conversion. In the, first, in, the, in the Acts of the Apostles, Peter tells us that God has made both Lord and Messiah as Jesus whom they had crucified. And we hear in the gospel how Jesus refers to himself as our shepherd. Now, to refer to us as sheep is almost, is it, it isn't, it should be insulting because the sheep is one of the dumbest animals out there. Yet, they are smart enough to only follow the voice of their own shepherd. The the sheepfold, there would often be maybe four or five shepherds would have their sheep in this one big area and they'd take turn watching by night, looking out for wolves or something coming to slaughter the sheep. And in the morning when the shepherds would come, they would start singing their song and the sheep would follow their own shepherd out. Yet, you think about us. You know, Jesus tells us he's our shepherd yet how many other shepherds do we really follow in our life? All the different things that lead us away from our Lord are those other shepherds. So in a way, you have to admit, those dumb sheep are smarter than we are because they will not follow that false shepherd's voice. Yet when we hear a voice that sounds a little better, a little more fun, we're apt to follow that one instead. And Jesus tells a story about how he has gone, not in today's gospel, but in a different one, how he is the, the shepherd who will go after that one lost sheep. I know he's come after me many times, and he's probably followed most of us or chased most of us down as well. Now, the people ask Peter, what are we to do? Well, first off, Peter says repent. And that's something I think most of us need to do too, is repent. And it's not just a, repentance is not just a question of, oh, gee, I'm sorry. But it's, I'm sorry, and I will do what I, everything I can to do better. Because, again, remember, Jesus will seek us out. But if we keep turning our back on him, he will not force us to follow him. We're called to follow in the footsteps of our shepherd. By his suffering, he bore our sins in his body to free us from sin. But his suffering is also an example for us. From him, we should learn patience in our afflictions. And in this time, in this situation we find ourselves in, patience might be hard to find as we find ourselves locked down and struggling and maybe starting to get on each other's nerves just a little bit more. But like I said, we need to learn patience and then to hand ourselves over to the will of God. Our Lord has gone ahead. He's driven us. He's led us through that dark valley of evil and death. And by his cross, he's become that narrow gate through which we must pass to reach his empty tomb and to reach that verdant, green, restful pasture of life eternal. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and life of the world to come. Amen. We come now with our needs before God, our Heavenly Father. For the church, that we may find our life in Christ and allow Christ to bring forth abundant life within us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering from violence and war, that God will be a shepherd to them and lead them to a place of safety and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who search for meaning and purpose in life, that they will be led to the only shepherd who brings true refreshment and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have been preparing to receive the sacraments during this time, that they are able to remain vigilant in their preparation and prayer as they continue on their journey towards sacraments later in the year, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are affected by the coronavirus, those in medicine, first responders, and patients at home and in hospitals, and those sheltering at home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young men and women, that God may give them the gift of understanding to discern their service to the priesthood, diaconate, or consecrated life, and for the gift of courage to follow his call, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that they will know the healing power of the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Kathy Nguyen and Lois Farish, may they rejoice forever where God will wipe away every tear from their eyes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we've come with our needs. Hear us all through Christ our Lord. You, O Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifices of your hands and the praise and glory of his name, our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. 
is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is a true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts proclaim together with the, end, the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. To the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. To live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Now we get the peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be saved.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in the eternal pastures the sheep, the sheep have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We have a couple of announcements. The schedules of our live stream masses and drive up confessions are still the same until further notice. Give Us This Day books for May and June are available in the parish office lobby Mondays through Saturdays from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Also, you can sign up for an electronic copy of the parish bulletin directly to your email or a complimentary online subscription for the Magnificat during these challenging times. Please check the parish website for information. Mother's Day Novena cards are available in the parish lobby for you to pick up or you can email the names you want to include in the Novena this year. Any donations for the Novena can be dropped off at the parish office or made online. Please join us for our drive up reverence of the Blessed Mother on Mother's Day, Sunday, May 10th from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. You may also bring flowers for Mary during this time to honor all moms, but most especially our Blessed Mother. All flowers will be moved into the church at the end of this special event. The parish is working on contacting all of our families by phone over the coming weeks. We would like to check in with you and if needed, update your contact information. Please make sure to respond to these calls and if messages are left, please return the call. Also, if you have recently changed your phone number or email, contact the parish front office to update. We look forward to hearing from all of you. And please stay tuned to our parish website, Facebook page, and bulletin for the most up-to-date information on upcoming parish news and events. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We tell the earth, we tend the ground, sowing hope. love God's life abounds we till the earth we turn the ground as God provides our every need with grateful hearts let us receive these gifts of love Turn the ground.